If you have ongoing exposure to controlling people, it's a virtual certainty that you're going to experience blurry boundaries, which is why I have created the extensive online course called This Is Me, Establishing Boundaries with the Controllers in Your Life. There's a link below that will give you all of the details, and I hope that you would find it therapeutic. I want to talk with you today about how we can tell if a narcissist is actually worsening as they age. But before we go all the way into that, I want to put a little perspective on this first, okay? I want you to think back to your earlier years when you were still in your adolescence and then starting to go into your early adult years after that. How many of you would say that you were mistake-free and you did everything just right, and you had uh, a real high level of sensitivity and, and uh, appropriateness and all that you think, uh, think, did, and said. Now, nobody can look back and say, oh, yeah, I had it all together. You were still in process during that time of your life, weren't you? In fact, your brain doesn't actually fully develop until about age 25. There's a reason that we don't uh, diagnose adolescents as, as narcissists, even though they can have some real strong controlling kind of uh, characteristics and selfishness, etc. They 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 haven't fully uh, matured yet. And as as a person ages and they go deeper into their adult life, you hope that certain circumstances can come along that will take them more into empathy and goodness and dignity and honor and those kind of things so that we can say, yeah, that maturation really is occurring. With narcissists, we don't tend to see that. In fact, narcissists not only do not mature, but it's like it's, there are times when, as they get older, they double down on the characteristics that are central to narcissism, and just, they become worse and worse. Uh, the control, the selfishness, the entitlement, their insensitivities, the defensiveness, their alternate reality, and all of that. Now, I want to uh, focus in today on seven different signs that we can watch for that tells us if a narcissism is actually going further and further away from healthiness and more into relational and personal immaturity. Now, the first sign that we're going to watch for, number one, is narcissists as they age and get worse have given up on love. Now, early on, and whether we're talking about in marriage or friendships or extended family, they, they, they can give the impression that they really care about you, even inside of businesses. I really care about you, and, and uh, having good connections uh, seems to matter. At least they can give that impression. But as narcissists age, rather than building upon love connections, they seek power instead. Uh, and they, they can become more and more authoritarian and they can be more overbearing and pushy. And, and it's like when they have people around them, uh, they want to claim ownership over those individuals. And that implies that they've become more and more self-important to the extent that it's not love anymore, but it's uh, their uh, overwhelming style that makes them think, yeah, I've arrived. This is good. Now, a second indicator that says that a narcissist is heading in the wrong direction is they don't learn from their own broken experiences. Now, uh, you can look back and see that they have plenty of relationships that didn't go well, but instead of, of saying, you know, I need to reflect carefully about what those broken relationships mean about who I am and my contributions, Instead, they, they posture themselves as being a misunderstood victim. Well, the reason I had some broken relationships is they just didn't understand me very well, or they didn't want to go along with my program, or they were contrarian. And so as a result, they use a lot of black and white thinking. Uh, you did this correctly, I did this, uh, or incorrectly, and I did this correctly. And uh, they can go deeper and deeper into rigidity. It's like, well, those people were just a bunch of idiots. And as a result, they tend to show very, very low levels of introspective or analytical thinking. And that's a dead giveaway that a person is just going to continue to head downhill as they age when they don't learn from their experiences. Now, a third thing that goes right along with that uh, is narcissists never really own 
what we refer to as their shadow self. We all have a shadow self. You know, your history of blunders or miscalculations, or uh, maybe you have a, a lack of awareness about certain things. Uh, you may have some pain. You may have some disappointing experiences. Narcissists is like, I don't need to deal with all that kind of stuff. Or if, if they have had some things in their shadow self and, uh, and it's made them into bitter individuals. It's like, well, I'm still not going to uh, do anything about it. And as a result, they have this, this lurking, uh, self on the inside that's just dysregulated and that, uh, causes them to be, uh, 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 emotionally uh, volatile or difficult or, uh, unavailable. And instead of saying, you know, we need to take a look at that. I need to take a look at what's going on inside of me that is painful. It's like, no, I, I don't do that. Now, in addition to that, we'll go with number four, and that is they, they don't want to admit their own humanity. And, and so as a result, they try to project an image based on their own superiority or perfection. They have an idealized notion about who they're supposed to be and how people are supposed to perceive them. And so it becomes very important for them to rise above everyone else uh, as opposed to saying, well, we're all on uh, equal ground here. And, and as a instead of doing that, what they do instead is they will uh, hold you in a lower position so they can elevate themselves at your expense. And they actually do believe in their own distortions. Well, I really am better than other individuals. So they have to convince themselves of that. Uh, by the way, in the good old days, we used to call that they actually believe their own BS that they sling out there. And that's what they do. Uh, they can't admit that they're on equal ground with other individuals. Now, a fifth indicator that a narcissist is going downhill is they like to collect lackeys around them. Sometimes we call them their flying monkeys, but uh, they, they want to have many me's. Uh, they'll certainly hone in on individuals that they think that they can uh, can dominate or that will just nod their head and, and uh, be yes people. And one of the things you'll notice is they don't like diversity. They don't like to think, well, this person over here or that group over there, they think differently. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Let's, let's see if we can learn from each other. Instead, they want to uh, bring people that are uh, very similar-minded and narrow-minded in the way that they do things, and, and as a result, uh, they, they, don't, they don't grow. They don't expand. They just look for people that think the same as they do and that they can manipulate. Now, a sixth indicator that says a, narcissism is go a narcissist is going in the wrong direction is as their broken relationships inevitably pile up, they'll rationalize why it happens in a very self-serving way. And in fact, if they have to, you know, kind of do some pretzel type of reasoning, they're willing to do that. Uh, let's suppose that they've treated people badly or they've been harsh and critical or too demanding or not available or passive aggressive or openly aggressive. And then they have a lot of broken relations you'll find them saying things like, yeah, yeah, I just picked somebody that was really weak and that person over there is really insecure. Or they, they have all these problems and they'll just rationalize. And it's like, well, what about you? It's like, mm, no, it couldn't be me. And, and so they, they have to, uh, to, uh, to uh, allow themselves to believe certain things about themselves, about you that are just uh, justifications for all sorts of erroneous thought patterns they can't be honest with themselves. They lie to themselves a lot. And then a seventh indicator that it says a person is not aging well and they're, they're going in the wrong direction with their narcissism. And that is they've learned sometimes in a very glad kind of way that if they can keep other people on the defensiveness, um, in the defensive mode, that makes them win. And it makes them look like uh, they're the uh, the right ones. And so they, they accuse easily. They put shame on people. They uh, put guilt trips on other individuals. They try to make you look like uh, you're covering up or that you have all sorts of problems. And, of course, they, uh, they don't uh, uh, start with the assumption that says, well, I'm human too. Keep in mind what we've already said. Uh, and they, they don't go into uh, uh, your humanity with you. They just try to make you look defensive. And then when you're over there trying to justify and rationalize why it's okay for you to be yourself or you collapse, and it's like, see, I'm the better person in the equation. 
So we, we look at these and we realize that there are some people as they go through their adolescence and then their early adult years, and as they get deeper where we can say that certain things could happen where they can grow and mature, it's like not only do they not grow and mature, then the ingredients of narcissism become more and more entrenched. And part of the immaturity is the inability and unwillingness to uh, to remove yourself from some of those characteristics that aren't working, but you just keep blaming and sidestepping responsibilities over and over. And, you know, at, frankly, at some point they actually become a cartoon uh, of themselves, and uh, you know they're, they're a caricature, unfortunately, for meanness. And so, if if you see this happening. And you're thinking, well, here I am. I'm now uh, getting deeper into my adult years, and and uh, or you may have some individuals who are now uh, going into their senior years, and you're having to figure out how you're going to engage with them. You have to remind yourself you, you can't uh, t make it your task to have to reform these individuals. Maturity has to happen from the inside out. You can talk with them about your perspectives and your observations and how they impact you, but uh, drop the illusion that you're going to somehow be the one that's going to get through to them. And, and uh, uh, by the way, don't at, at all buy into their notion that says, well, if you see anything in me that you don't like, <clears throat> it's your fault because that's not the case. These people don't have a heart, and uh, and instead of uh, learning how to develop empathy and and those deeper connection skills down at that heart level, uh, that's turned into stone, and uh, they 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 just uh, have to hold on to their own false idealized version of themselves, and so these are not going to be individuals that you can look to to have deep connection. These are not individuals that you can look to for direction or uh, influence in your life in a healthy kind of way. And so I'm hoping that you can realize, well, I see what maturation is, and it's not all this illusion kind of thinking or deluded thinking that you, know, you the narcissist, are dealing with. Um, uh, my, my goal is to stay on my own growth trajectory, and the number one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to work so hard to try to convince that narcissist how they have to change that you lose focus on the one person that you can do something about. You're a full-fledged adult. And I'm hoping that you can decide, well, despite the narcissist, I'm not going to go backwards and just allow, allow myself to be identified by my childishness. And I hope the video such as this can give you some good food for thought. You know, Gus slept through another one. That means all is well in the world, at least one portion of the world here. If you haven't already subscribed, I would encourage you to, to do so and hit that notification bell that goes with it. I know that many times when you're trying to figure all these things out, it could be that you would uh, uh, think that maybe some therapy would be helpful for you. Obviously, I'm a therapist. I'm retired now, but I've been referring people to therapy literally my entire adult life. I'm so pleased that we have a sponsor that can help you in that regard. Uh, below, there's a link to the people at betterhelp.com, and there's a whole team of licensed professional therapists that could help you with that. And so that if that's a need, I would encourage you to go through the link and uh, uh, search out what they can do uh, to assist you in that. In addition, I have my therapeutic courses. Uh, and these uh, each course has multiple videos with teaching documents and questions, and it walks you through uh, all sorts of uh, change process possibilities. One is called uh, Ready, Set, Connect. It's about having the healthy connection skills. This is me. It's about establishing your boundaries, free to be, about uh, removing uh, or uh, moving on beyond some of the controllers in your life and finding the real you. In addition, we also have other resources, my books. We have a new podcast coming out. And, and other things below that you can avail yourself to. Th and thanks so much for letting me be, be a part of your journey. Narcissists don't grow. They regress. I, I want it to be the absolute opposite for you. I'm hoping that you can progress, and in doing so, you can have growth that will take you to a place of steadiness and decency. And in doing so, as you age, I'm hoping you can get more and more into your place of peace.